When we talk about luxurious living, we think of massive estates, cruise ship-sized yachts, or buildings so large they would make medieval kings blush. You know what doesn't get enough love? Penthouses. And why not? They can be just as luxurious and expensive as any mansion. Just ask Jeff Bezos and his $80 million New York penthouse. So to properly appreciate the effort it takes to turn the top of a building into a palace in the sky, we'll be taking a look inside one of the most luxurious penthouses ever constructed, the Odeon Penthouse in Monaco. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, make sure you have subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss a video from us. The Odeon Penthouse, nicknamed Sky, sits at the top of a skyscraper known as the Odeon Tower. This penthouse is one of the most expensive apartments in the world. It's more expensive than the most expensive penthouses in New York and Los Angeles combined. It costs $387 million. That's more expensive than most mega mansions in the United States. With such an insane asking price, something fishy must be going on here. How can apartments like the Odeon Penthouse exist in Monaco? And why on earth does it cost that much? Let's find out, shall we, about the Odeon Tower. The Odeon Tower, or La Tour Odeon, is a double skyscraper in Monaco. You know Monaco, right? It's that country that was on the tip of your tongue but you couldn't quite remember. It turns out there's been an unofficial ban on skyscrapers in Monaco since the 1980s, making the Odeon Tower the first skyscraper to be built in the last 30 years and an incredibly controversial one as well. People usually don't like when your giant building is casting a shadow on historical landmarks. Regardless of the controversy, it was completed in 2015, standing at 170 70 meters tall, with 49 floors, 259 residences, 10 subterranean levels, and 543 parking spaces, the tower comes fully equipped with its own restaurants, offices, wellness center, fitness center, and swimming pool. Honestly, don't come to live here. You may never want to leave. I know I wouldn't. But we're not here to talk about the Odeon Tower, are we? We're more interested in what's going on at the top of the tower. About the Sky Penthouse As we've established, the unfathomable asking price of $287 million has skyrocketed this property to be one of the most expensive apartments in the entire world. Sitting on top of the second tallest building in Europe's Mediterranean coastline and being located in a country with incredibly high property prices is just part of the justification for such an asking price. The Sky Penthouse has taken luxury to new heights and has created an entirely new and unique way of approaching penthouse architecture. This penthouse has a remarkable 35,500 square feet of space. It's five stories tall and provides a 360 degree view of the sea. All this in a town where just 90 square feet could go for up to $1 million. I'm a little surprised they aren't charging more for this place. You might not agree with me on the Sky Penthouse's worth, that's fair. How about we take a tour of the property and you allow me to try to change your mind? And hey, when we're done, you might just grab those $387 million you've got lying around and head on over to Monaco. Sky Penthouse Tour Developed by the group Marzocco and designed by the architect Alexandre Giraldi, the people who brought this building into existence are probably banned from post offices for pushing the envelope too far. The Sky Penthouse occupies the 45th to the 49th floor of the Odeon Tower, which might have something to do with the fact that it's five stories tall like I mentioned earlier. The apartment comes with a rooftop deck and a massive circular infinity pool with its own water slide that descends from the dance club. <laughs> Between you and me, a pool tethering on the edge of a 170 meter tall skyscraper is scary enough without a water slide. And yes, there is a dance club inside this apartment because who lives in an apartment without throwing sick parties? The dance club isn't just intelligently separated from the rest of your incredibly expensive apartment, it's also strategically placed next to the pool. Suffice it to say, Alexandre Giraldi definitely knows how to party. The apartment comes with several bedrooms and bathrooms like most apartments do, but as we all expect, the Odeon Tower doesn't do normal. The bathrooms all have rainfall showers, marble jacuzzis, toilets with bidets, and floor-to-ceiling windows that allow you to stare out into the beauty of the Mediterranean while you drop a log. Talk about a bathroom break with a view. The bedrooms, as you can imagine, are also impeccably designed and luxuriously furnished, so you and your staff can enjoy sleeping in bedrooms fit for royalty. Oh, did I forget to mention? The Sky Penthouse comes with three staff bedrooms for the full-time staff that comes with the apartment. These five floors of space are not going to be cleaning themselves, after all. After paying $387 million, the developers of this
this apartment weren't about to make you lift a finger for anything. The staff services available include a chauffeur, a caterer to work in all five of the apartment's kitchens, and a 24-hour concierge. I have a theory about the construction of the penthouse. I think the architect of this apartment must have taken a bet to see how much fun and luxury a person could fit into one apartment. And I think he won because the Sky Penthouse comes fully loaded with amenities that would put some hotels to shame. It's got a private cinema big enough to fit about 10 people, with chairs that look more comfortable than my living room sofa. This apartment also has a state-of-the-art gym that also gives you a gorgeous view of the city and the sea. And when you're done absolutely wrecking yourself on the elliptical, you can walk on over to the sauna and afterwards take a soak in the indoor pool. All available inside this one apartment. Is the penthouse worth it? If it isn't already clear, this penthouse wasn't built for the average citizen. In fact, just a regular apartment on the top floors of the Odeon Tower will run you upwards of $25 million. I think it's fair to say that with an asking price of $387 million, the target customers here are billionaires. So is the Sky Penthouse worthy of billionaire status? To figure that out, let's compare how the Sky Penthouse stacks up against the penthouse owned by the richest man on the planet, Jeff Bezos. In 2019, Jeff Bezos purchased a luxury penthouse in New York known as the Crown. Much like the Sky Penthouse, it has multiple levels and is part of a prestigious skyscraper. The Sky Penthouse is superior in quite a few respects, and the fact that it cost $387 million while Jeff Bezos spent $80 million purchasing the Crown isn't justification enough. However, that's not the only place the Sky Penthouse has it beat either. The Crown has about 16,000 square feet of living space, while the Sky has 35,500, over twice the size. This is expected as the sky has five levels compared to the crown's three. That's not to say Jeff Bezos purchased some ordinary penthouse either. The crown does come with amenities like a ballroom, a library, and a very cute dog bed. But it's fair to say the sky penthouse absolutely trounces the crown in the sheer amount of amenities it provides. Two pools, a dance club, and a water slide is a win in my book. The sky penthouse is clearly bigger, more luxurious, and more expensive than the penthouse of the richest man on the planet. I think that makes it billionaire worthy. But why is it so expensive, though. Why is the Sky Penthouse so expensive? Recently, Monaco has seen an increase in high-income individuals moving to the country. They go there for all sorts of reasons, the beaches, the tourist attractions, and most importantly, its lack of income tax, wealth tax, and capital gains tax. Being a tax haven would obviously attract anybody willing to avoid one of life's two certainties, but gaining residency in Monaco isn't something any old millionaire can acquire. You need to open a bank account and deposit at least 500,000 euros. You also need to prove that you have somewhere to live in Monaco, and with these property prices, I don't think under a bridge is a sufficient answer. Plus, you have to live there for at least six months before you can use Monaco as a tax haven. So, it's not much of a surprise that nearly 35 out of every 100 Monaco residents is reportedly a millionaire. With an increasing population of very wealthy individuals, property prices have been increasing as well. The cost of property in Monaco is about $105,000 per square meter. I mean, a parking spot at the Odeon Tower costs $290,000 and it doesn't come with a free car either. If you are wondering why people would be willing to live in such an incredibly expensive penthouse, there you have it. One of the most expensive penthouses in the entire world. So, what do you think about the Sky Penthouse? Is it worth the cost? Is there any billionaire you can picture living there? Or are you going to snag it for yourself? Please comment below, and if you enjoyed this video, do leave us a like and check out the King Luxury channel for more videos all about luxury. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.